Hello to the Grace Lutheran Church family and everyone beyond. Thank you for joining Katie and me for children's worship for this week. First, let's get a scarf or sock or something that you can wave around, toss up in the air and catch for our welcoming song. Here we go. Here we are gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. The first verse, let's sing very slowly. Ready? Here we are gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Ready? Here we are gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. All right, now let's sing it out. Here we go. Here we are gathered together. Let's put our scarves down and find an instrument. I was looking around for an instrument this morning and I found this little, it's a baby rattle, a little shaker for a baby to hold on to. And I thought, ooh, this would make a lot of fun when I'm singing my theme song today. Ooh, I like the way that keeps the rhythm. Or I could play a drum. And you know, you can make anything that you can tap into a drum, even your head. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. You can find many different instruments. And the song that we're going to sing today has lots of verses. So you might want to play one instrument for one verse, another instrument for another verse. Oh, you might want to throw your scarf in there for another verse. And you can just keep changing it up. Just like we changed the verses of our welcome song this morning by singing slowly and faster and then singing out. All right, so first I have to tell you a little story before I teach you the theme song, the song that Katie's message is about. I have a friend and my friend did something that I did not like and it made me mad and it hurt my feelings and I didn't like it. I didn't like the way I felt and I was very frustrated with my friend. So I went to my friend and I listened to her. And as I listened to her, I understood why she did what she did. I still didn't like what she did, but I understood why she did it. She was scared. And so then it was easier for me to let go of my anger, let go of my mad. That helped me feel better, even though I remembered what she did. And I thought, you know, I need to write a song about this because I think there are a lot of times when we just hold on to our anger and hold on to being mad. Okay, well, I hope that this song helps you let go of your anger when you are frustrated or sad or hurt. All right, the tune to this song, you know, listen to this. La, 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 la. song is. That's it. He's got the whole world in his hands. So this time we're going to sing it with the new words that I wrote. And the first verse is, my friend said something I didn't like. And you say it with me. We're going to keep going. We'll say that three times. My friend said something I didn't like. My friend said something I didn't like. How can I forgive? Oh, forgive. I wonder what forgive means and how do you forgive? All right, let's keep singing. Maybe we'll figure it out or maybe Katie will explain it to us. Ready? My friend said something I didn't like. Here we go. My friend said something I didn't like. My friend said something I didn't like. My friend said something I didn't like. How can I forgive? New verse. My feelings got hurt, it made me mad. And then we'll repeat, how can I forgive? Here we go. My feelings got hurt, it made me mad. My feelings got hurt, it made me mad. My feelings got hurt, it made me mad. How can I forgive? And then the next verse is, maybe my 
my friend is sad or scared. Here we go. Maybe my friend is sad or scared. I can listen to my friend. 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 How can I forgive? And the next verse is I can try to understand. I can try to understand. I can try. is I can let go of my anger or like I said before let go of my mad so the words are I can let go of my anger and then we'll end this verse with that's how I forgive ready I can let go of my are so important. In Jesus' name, I forgive. In Jesus' name, I forgive. In Jesus' name, I forgive. And I feel better too. Here we go. In Jesus' name, I forgive. Jesus loves the whole world. Jesus loves the whole world. Jesus loves the whole world, and Jesus forgives us too. That's important. Ready? Jesus loves the whole world. Jesus loves the whole world. Jesus loves the whole world, and Jesus forgives us too. Oh, friends. I'm so glad that we have had this time together and you can go through and sing that song from the beginning to the end change the instruments around but remember when you're angry and sad about something that someone does how can you forgive and remember Jesus forgives us too I wonder what Katie has to say about all of this I'll see you later I love you friends and here's Katie Hey everyone, it's Katie. I am glad to see you guys again this morning. As you might be able to tell from my background, I am in a little bit of a different spot. So I wanted to tell you that instead of coming to you from my living room this morning, I am actually able to come to you from my mom and dad's living room. Um, but still at this time, I'd like to invite all the children to scoot in close so that you can hear this children's message. So good morning, everyone. I of course, again, wanna ask you guys how you're doing this week. I hope that you guys have had something fun maybe that you've done this week or something that you're really looking to or forward to for next week. Uh, but either way, I hope that you'll share the answers with someone else. Maybe you'll call or text a family member or a friend. Maybe you'll share the answers with someone around you. Um, but I hope that you will tell them all about your week, ask them about their week, maybe tell them something you're looking forward to for next week. But this morning, for this children's message, I brought something that I wanted to show you guys. And so I brought, oh, can you guess? That's right, it's a pencil. I brought a pencil to show you guys today. Now you guys probably know what a pencil is for. You probably know that you can write or draw pictures with pencils. Um, but I was thinking about pencils today because there's one thing that I really like about pencils and using pencils to write or draw uh, more than pens. And so if you know anything about pencils, you know that you can write um, maybe your homework or you can write down notes or draw pictures with pencils. But if you mess up and you want to change a letter um, or change your answer on your homework or make a correction on a picture, you can flip the pencil around and instead of using the side to write, you can use the side to erase. So if you make a mistake, 
you can erase it and change your mind and write, write or draw something else. And I was wondering, I wanted to ask you guys, how many times can you correct your mistakes with a pencil? Can you correct your mistakes just one time? You use the eraser once and it's done. Do you think that's the way it works? Maybe I could erase five times and then that's enough. I have to stick with what I have. No, you guys know that we can erase as many times as we want, right? So if I write something down or I make an adjustment or draw or change my picture, but decide that I want to do something a little differently, I can turn around and erase. I can keep doing that. Oh, I made another mistake. I can turn around and I can erase again. And in fact, if I run out of eraser on this pencil, I can still go back and find another eraser and continue to make adjustments and change my mind if I write or draw something that I didn't want to. And I think about this today because in our Bible story, Jesus is teaching his friends about forgiveness. And Jesus teaches his friends that God will forgive us as many times as we make mistakes. And Jesus' friends want to know, well, how many times should we forgive other people who make mistakes? And so Jesus, of course, is reminding them that God will forgive them every time and that God asks us to do the same. In fact, he says, should we forgive one time? No. Should we forgive two times? No. Seven times? No. As many as 77 times. Wow, 77. I wonder how many that is. Jesus, I think, uses that number because it's a very big number. And he says we should forgive as many times as we have to. I think by the time that I forgave for the 77th time, I might lose count of how many times I've forgiven. And I think that's exactly Jesus's point. Keep forgiving and keep forgiving just like God would. That is such good news to me because I know that I mess up all the time. And I'm so glad that God continues to forgive me when I make mistakes just like I can continue to correct them with my pencil. God will always forgive us and always love us, and no mistake we make can change that. God will always forgive us. God will always love us, and he asks us to do our best to love and forgive our brothers and sisters too. So friends, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for loving us and for forgiving us no matter how many times we mess up. We ask for your help to help forgive others, even when it feels hard or like we've done it over and over again. Help us to love and forgive each other. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye, guys.